finishing up our basic walkthrough of drainage and utility nodes and pseudocells and how they're created and used within feature definitions. We've shown how to create the 2D cells as well as the top 3D cells for catch basins and manholes as well as the bottom cells for end sections. And now we'll show how to create the bottom cell for manholes and inlets or those structures that have variable height or depth. In creating these cells, it's good practice to use the same levels, line styles, and weights that you would want to present for your 3D bottom cells. However, these can be overridden in the element symbology. To create these solids, again, it's not going to be shown in depth. However, typically for a box, you can create a solid by profile or a slab, and then you can cut out a section using the features which I've done in this example. Now if I open up my element properties, we can see that there's three pseudo elements here as in the other structures as well. The first one is the alignment point that you can see. This is gonna tie it to the 2D as well as the top if applicable. There's also the alignment line as we're familiar with now. And finally, there's an elevation point at the bottom there. Now this elevation point is not referencing the grate or the rim elevation, of course. This is the invert, and this will match what is in the utility or hydraulic model, as well as when you place a box, it's controlled by the invert, and this is the point that will be used. This can be heightened or shortened by this point, and so it'll simply extrude or contract it. When this box is initially placed, it'll use the default height, and then afterwards, after conduits are attached, it'll adjust that invert as per model. The last pseudo elements to address are the connection regions, and these are only found on the bottom. You can see here if I highlight it, we need to pay attention to the line style and class, of course and these can be drawn as lines or shapes. So for example, this sidewall here is pretty narrow and so there are smaller connection regions as you wouldn't be able to place a pipe much closer to this inside vault here. So there's two connection regions and you can snap the center of a conduit to anywhere along here or in the middle there you can see on this side as the wall is much larger, the connection regions are much larger. And they are rectangular shapes. And I'll show one more example of a connection region on a smaller box. On this, for example, instead of a rectangular shape, there's just a line drawn. And so a conduit connecting to either any of these walls will have to connect in the center. Lastly, other shapes can be used such as a cone or a cylinder, for example, in a circular manhole. And you can see here that the connection region is actually a cylinder. After all the applicable cells have been created, in the DGN lib, you can reference these into the feature symbology and feature definition and thereby creating a new drainage or utility node in your model.